Good morning and welcome back to the channel. It's Richard from Power Lines to Power Naps. Still up here in Chiang Rai in the family homestead. But today it's Wednesday, it's time that we move three hours south to Chiang Mai for three nights. However, Nui has still got a few little things, bloody fly, uh, loose ends to tie up for her folks. And um, I'm going to go down, I'm booked on the VIP bus. Hmm. Wait to see what that's like. In a couple of hours time, it's a three hours bus trip. I'm going to go down, get settled in the hotel in Chiang Mai. Nui will be following me down tomorrow morning where we'll regroup for a bit of a chill. So it's the last breakfast at the homestead. Again, cheated 7-Eleven, but the family are all chilled and relaxed. Oh, silly me. Sorry about that. I've got my coffee, my iced coffee. I'm going to drink this, eat the food, say my goodbyes. Get off down to the uh, bus stop. And uh, I'll see you en route to Chiang Mai. Hi, I'm Richard. Welcome to my channel, from power lines to power naps. This is my wife, Nui, and together we both left the UK in February 2022 to start and enjoy a new life and new adventures in Phuket, Thailand. Join us on our new journey together and experiences. Sit back and enjoy. ตีนี้ว่าโกมีนะฉันมาตีตะลันอยู่ทุกขังพลังจ้าทําไงว่าต้องพอตามปัจจัยละแต่จะเงื้อเงาวนี่ถูกละปัจจัยใหญ่มัน
con mình con thuộc cái đơn nổi liếng thuộc sự quản lý của con mẹ chị rô Hello. <laughs> See you tomorrow, Tirak. I'm going to uh, Chiang Mai on the green bus, VIP. Tomorrow I go by car. <laughs> she goes by car. I got a VIP ticket. It costs 214 baht for a three-hour bus trip. Two and a half. 214 baht. Two and a half hour. Two and a half hour. Love you. Love you. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Troop troop. I'll let you know when I'm there. Drive careful. Bye. Yeah. VIP. I'm guessing that means I've got a seat. Let's board the bus. The VIP bus. The Chiang Mai. Oh. Spacious seats. Six, seven. Eight D. Well do me. Two hours fifty-five. Two hours fifty-five minutes from uh Hayao to Chiang Mai. VIP bus. Spacious seats, not many seats actually for a big book. 214 baht. We've even got a toilet on board. Complimentary water, reclining seats, and seat belts. That'll do me for the next two hours and 55 minutes ish. That's it. Here we go, goodbye Payao, on our way to Chiang Mai. Say hello YouTube. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Very good, good to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Top of cap, you can do Chiang Mai? You can go to Chiang Mai? Yes. You live in Chiang Mai? No, I live in Payao. You live in Payao. Let's go to Chiang Mai. Let's go. Let's go.
take me to the uh, hotel. Traffic's very busy, so I thought the tuk tuk is possibly the best way. He'll cut through the traffic better than a taxi. Let's hope. Shower, I guess, at Chiang Mai. Maybe a motorbike taxi would have been better, but hey ho, let's stick with him. This guy will get going in a minute. describe it as that of if you were to get a hairdryer put it on setting number three the top setting hold it eight inches away from the front of your face press the trigger that's what it feels like here it's like hot air elastic nothing cool about it at all even when you get going down the back alleys and side streets. Shortcut Thai style. Not far away now, just going over the river. Try it up. And here we are. Arrived at the hotel. Drop on cab. So here we are, the M Hotel, Chiang Mai. Very, very nice to, to, to first appearance. Very clean, very helpful uh, staff. I've checked in. Um, let's go find the room. And here we have the room. Tea, coffee, facilities. Free water. Aircon, TV, good sized uh, room, good sized bed, towel, elephant welcome, telephones, seems okay to me, bathroom, uh, not sure, oh, all lights. Yeah, bathroom, really good, uh, big shower cubicle with soap and uh, shampoo on them. Gets a thumbs up from me. Safe. Yeah, seems uh, quite good. Let's have a look at the view. We're a city view, so there we are. If we're facing the city walls. Uh, it's quiet, you can't hear the main road, so good soundproofing. That'll do for me. Now it's been a while, it's been a while since I've done a bus trip in Northern Thailand. And I sort of forgot just what it was like. Now I did upgrade and pay the VIP price. And even that was 214 baht for the whole trip. It was around three hours trip. I'm not sure what cattle class would have been like. Because even the VIP was, uh, dare I say, as rough as fuck. Okay, the seats were comfortable. There was good curtains to shield against the sun. 
the aircon was okay but I'd forgotten just like the condition of some of these buses now I'm lucky I can switch noises background noises out I can switch off and sleep or pretend they're not there but for some it drives you crazy <laughs> and I'm sure I've got a whole flock of seagulls in the locker above my head I don't mean the band I mean a real flock of becking seagulls and underneath there was either a disconnected road spring leaf spring or a disconnected shock absorber that kept smacking on the floor underneath my seat and I was fully expecting it to come through the floor at one point but hey so repair and maintenance is not brilliant on these vehicles they look the part they look nice but when you look at the, think about the condition of the servicing the steering the braking and the suspension and some of the driver's abilities and bear in mind in the northern Thailand over the mountains through the passes it's very severe climbs very severe descents airpin bends probably some of the most dangerous roads to travel on in the world so along with poorly maintenance for coaches and lorries it's a bit like the lottery playing the lottery okay i played the lottery looks like i won the lottery because i've arrived safely in chiang mai but it's been a while and i'd rather drive i'd rather drive my own vehicle or rather drive a higher vehicle and be in control of my own destiny but uh, hey ho we got here okay for 214 baht mustn't grumble as they say uh very hot tired gonna recharge my batteries gonna recharge the phone batteries and uh have a little snooze a little power nap i think and then go out and get some food good morning uh, wow well i popped out for some food i had a couple of beers and i was in bed nice and early last night good room good hotel very comfy bed very nice i've got my coffee this morning good good coffee so I'm going to leave that one there not a massive film I'm going to go down for my breakfast and I'm going to wait for my Tira Nui to join me today I miss her hopefully it won't be long before she arrives thank you for watching thank you for subscribing like, share, tell all your friends leave a comment see you very soon from somewhere in Chiang Mai Bye for now.